In addition to high explosive general purpose bombs like the Mark 82, 83, and 84, you also have canister munitions at your disposal. Also termed cluster bombs, the FA-18C can carry the Mark 20 Rock I-2 and CBU-99 and 100. All three munitions carry 247 Mark 118 Mod 1 bomblets. The Mark 118 bomblet contains a shaped charge warhead designed for anti-armor use. As such, these bomblets are good at defeating armor but have very little proximity damage effect. To be effective, the bomblet must directly hit the target. The three versions of the munition only differ in their canister and fuses. Today, we have eight Mark 20s loaded and two groups of various armored vehicles to devastate. As should be routine now, set master mode to AG. Select Mark 20s by pressing push button six. We'll keep the UFC option as is. A big difference when setting up a canister munition profile is the fuse setting. Rather than an impact fuse, We'll need to initiate the fuse when the munition is over the target area so the bomblets can disperse over the desired weapon effect area. We'll do this with the mechanical fuse or M fuse. Press push button 4 to select M fuse. From the M fuse selections, select variable timed or VT on push button 3. When we selected VT as the fuse type, we now have an HT height option on push button 1. This will set the weapon computer to provide weapon release cues based on what height the fuse is set to physically open on the canister. The physical fuse and the fuse setting in the program must match. By default, the physical fuse is set to 1500 feet. Continually press push button 1 until 1500 is displayed in the HT field for program in the data block. Press spacebar once the HT value is set to 1500. Once that is done, set your HUD to show radar altitude. While canister munitions can be delivered in auto mode, CCIP is recommended for better accuracy. As reviewed in the CCIP bombing lesson, we have a DIL, pull-up queue, and reflected queue on the HUD. As with CCIP general purpose bombs, we will fly to place the CCIP bombing cross over the target and then hold down the weapon release button or right alt and spacebar key to release the munition. Before we try this though, set your radar altimeter to 1500 feet to alert us if we are below the fuse height. In addition to the altitude warning, you would also see a dud cue on the HUD. Press spacebar to unpause the mission. For best accuracy, a specific attack profile is recommended. Perform a diving attack on the target with the velocity vector between negative 25 and negative 30 degrees on the HUD pitch ladder. Maintain an airspeed of 500 knots and release the weapon at 2,500 feet radar altitude. Give it a try against the target group at waypoint one. It's marked by a gate and red smoke. Line up your velocity vector over the target but at level flight. When the CCIP cross is over the target, press and hold the weapon release button or right alt and spacebar key when at 2500 feet, 500 knots, and a dive angle between 25 and 30 degrees. Altitude. Altitude. Good hits on those BTRs. At waypoint two is a second set of armored targets to practice on. When you are done, press escape to end the lesson. Altitude. Altitude. 